my new guest, Mr. Anders. How do you say your last name again? It's Anders Noyes. Noyes. Anders Noyes. What a great name that is. Swedish. It's fabulous. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, and you're with CSO, the CSO Council, CSOASISonline.org. And tell us what, the, what you're doing with that. Uh, well, uh, so I'm part of the CSO Roundtable. Round it, right. Used to be now, now a CSO Center for Leadership, right? So, okay. So it's a membership organization that uh, that people from a variety of companies, my, my actual company is Skywalker Properties in, out in California. And uh, and what I do out there is I oversee all of the security for, for uh, George Lucas, actually. For the ranch. Yeah. Oh, Skywalker I've dealt ranch. with him when I was at Fox. And Did remember, you? Okay. Remember the Star Wars episode <laughs> back in the day? Uh-huh. Episode one, yeah, it was a problematic. Remember, you might have been around with I that. I was around. I remember uh, that. I, I took funny. him all the way up until we sold to Disney, and then when Disney acquired Lucasfilm, right. uh, George kept a certain amount of his companies and properties, and so I stayed with George. Oh, fantastic. About 100 of us there. So. Very cool. Yeah. So talk about what we're going to do tomorrow yeah. at, at the uh, the CSO Center, I guess, right? right? Center mm -hmm. for Leadership, and let's talk about that. Yeah, so tomorrow we're actually part of the Young Professional Council. They host a um, CSO-led uh, panel, which is called the Path to the Top, and it's a number of CSOs from a variety of organizations that will sit on this panel, and have something of an interactive session with the young professionals that are in the audience and answer questions, uh, give, give some brief hints, tips about right. how we got to uh, where we did, and, uh, and really just be available for the young professionals to, to go through um, maybe some things they can do to prepare themselves for this. Yeah, I was a C-level guy at two guard companies, ah, okay. which isn't saying much, but then I was also director at Fox and Disney, and, sure. and you know that's, that has some great leadership opportunities, right? Absolutely. And some great opportunities to fail. In leadership, as a matter of fact. There's that. And I was very surprised that when I went from a, a director, which is, you know, pretty high up there, and yeah. then you get into a C-level, everything you do is scrutinized. It's yeah. analyzed. What did he mean by that? He looked at me crooked. What happened, you know? <laughs> and if you get that wrong, it can be devastating to the organization. It can be. So tell me how the mentorship uh, program helps recognize these kind of pitfalls for the young people to get. Because young people now are more into the, oh, I want to be liked, and I want to be, I want to be, felt good about and stuff right. and that's not leadership it's it's not and I think there is a difference between the leadership that you're talking about and actually um, leading an organization in a way of, of a new workforce demographic that we're dealing with yeah. we, have a, we have a millennial workforce that's coming in working with us now and uh, it, it does take some adjustments as to how you lead a group um, so what we're I think what we're trying to do with the council is we're really just trying to give them the broad spectrum from all industries uh, of, of how they can prepare Emotionally, if, yeah. if not any other way, but but certainly emotional intelligence has become a huge buzzword. Yes, I think it's more leadership. important than than uh, you know what you know. You can always with the internet, you yep. can always look something up. That's true. And I can <laughs> find the directions and build that. But if you don't understand the people, yeah, that's a part. What are you finding the challenges with the the uh, the millennial generation? My kids, 24, 25. Yep. My son Max getting his PhD in mathematics. Hey Max, what are you going to do with that? I don't know. Yeah. What career do you want? Oh, I'm not sure. My daughter's a nurse, a little more on board. Yeah. They have a different attitude towards work, towards achieving things. Can we still use the same CSO leadership qualities we used on you and I with the new generation or is it going to be different? That's an awesome question. And and honestly, I don't know that anybody has the, the exact answer now, but what I've noticed anyway is that you do have to provide for more opportunity. If you can't provide it to go up in an organization right. like it was with us, you have to do it sideways so that okay. there's an ability for them to take on projects, to take on initiatives that they can make their own and really do something with and, and provide an impact. I think it really is about impact, not so much about loyalty to company like maybe you and I right. in our generation. Right. But impact and what kind of change can be made within an organization and within the broader industry itself. I never would have thought of the lateral movement or lateral ascension in a way, mm -hmm. the way you say it. True. Because they do respond better to, I want to feel like I'm part of the group and I want to feel like it's all part of one giant thing where you and I were like, it's doggy dog, <laughs> it's right. kick and claw all the way to the top. It was different. It, it was yeah. very different back then. Now, True. can people actually come to the... Uh, as his hub tomorrow. Yes. Oops. It's in the career center. ASIS hub. I'm sorry. <laughs> Old school. Yes. And, and they can actually kind of get in there and start participating, talking to people and meeting people and stuff. Yeah. And the career center on the floor actually is where this is going to Oh, the to career place. center. Okay. It'll, right. be, it'll be there. Uh, in fact, I think there's a couple of uh, young professional events that are actually in the career center. That's where we'll be tomorrow afternoon at 430 doing the path to the okay. top uh, panel. We'd love to have people come and take a look and ask questions. That's what we're there for. Now, it's about 400 people in your group. Yes. Uh, and and the, how many are in the young professionals group? That I don't know. I, I wish I could get an well, answer. We'll find out. We will. We've got to find that out. We should. All yeah. right. Thanks for coming on the show. Absolutely. Check. Uh, and again, tomorrow, 4.30? 4.30. Okay. In the career center on the floor. Make sure you guys check that out. Be really valuable, especially if you're millennials and people that are managers. You want to come up and learn something, this is the place to do it. Tune in in a few minutes for our next show here at ASIS 2017, Dallas, Texas. We'll be right back. Thanks. Thank you. Cool. Thank All right. You.
Cool. All right. Cool. All right. Cool.